You're watching Seatome TV. Knowledge is power. So um, as we mentioned, the standard treatment is Fulfox and then followed by Fulfury. However, in some people that doesn't necessarily work very well. For example, people with right-sided or proximal colon cancers, or even people with certain genetic mutations such as uh, BRAF. Um, you know, if you do have a BRAF mutation or, you know, you're not going to respond very well to treatment um, of the standard care. It's not going to work at all. In fact, um, the survival of, Fol of Folfox and Folfiri in BRAF mutated colon cancers is dismal. Um, and, you know, the same with other mutations. So the genetics of the tumors really define how well you respond to Folfox and Folfiri. And on top of that, the prognostic features such as the side that your tumor is located on and you know what stage you're at and how aggressive the actual tumors are. So, so in order to um, reestablish that and come up with a better new standard, um, there was a great study called the Tribes 1 and 2. Um, and it's interesting that they started so long ago uh, and we're just getting, you know, we're just aware of the data now, but this is really what it takes is to, it takes this, this period of time to really test something and find out how well it works uh, when, when you're dealing with chemotherapy like this. So in the tribe protocol, what they thought was instead of doing Fulfox and Fulfury, which are the first Fulfox is a two, two chemotherapy drug regime, and then Fulfury is a separate two chemotherapy uh, drug regime. What they thought is let's try adding all of those drugs together at the same time. And we'll call it Fulfox Erie. Uh, simple addition of it. And they found, um, and then in this particular case, they added Avastin because um, uh, most of the patients couldn't get EGFR inhibitors. So in other words, the group of patients they looked at in the tribe protocol had these mutations that they couldn't get EGFR inhibitors. So having an EGFR inhibitor is a good prognosis. If you're able to get it, you can live longer. Um, but in this particular case, they wanted to look at people who had you know, poor prognostic tumors. And those are people that had these mutations and couldn't get the uh, EGFR monoclonal antibodies. So they were given Avastin instead, uh, which is the uh, targeted therapy for angiogenesis. And they found out that if you give patients with poor prognostic features and right-sided tumors, if you give them Fulfoxiri for their first run, uh, Fulfoxiri plus Sebastian for their full, first run. And then when the tumors come back, you do the exact same thing again. The patients live much longer than Fulfox plus Fulfiri. So a simple change in when you get these chemotherapy drugs made a huge difference. Now we've been having a heck of a time trying to convince Canadian oncologists to do this. We have been able to, in a few cases, and the patients have responded incredibly well. Most doctors think, okay, well, you know, patients are too sick to take these three drugs all at the same time. But what we know now is that um, the modified version of Fulfoxury um, is what's being used, is you get less of each drug, but you get three drugs at the same time, or it's four drugs at the same time, four chemotherapy drugs, but it's at reduced dose and it has the same effect uh, as the full dose. So the modified version with the lower dose is just as good. And this is a theme that we're seeing with a lot of chemotherapy protocols. In a lot of cases, the chemotherapy is uh, prescribed at a dose that is higher than it needs to be. And you can get the same benefit from a lower dose. So this modified version also works very well for uh, pancreatic cancers too. So let's move on. So, and, and additionally, since then, um, they've also used a Fulfiri in patients with, uh, without um, you know, BRAF mutations. In other words, patients that can have EGFR monoclonal antibodies, they can add that to this Fulfoxiri and it works even better than just the Fulfox plus EGFR inhibitor or, or Fulfiri plus EGFR inhibitor. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to patients with BRAF mutations. So I'm sure uh, some people here have BRAF mutations and um, they've been probably provided with the standard treatment and told that they have a dismal prognosis. Well, that's not true anymore. There's a new study that came out a few years ago and this was 
I mentioned the Beacon trial because it was the first one that, that started out this, um, this triplet combination. So the Beacon trial combined a BRAF inhibitor, um, and it, it, I believe it originally started with a different BRAF inhibitor, uh, if I recall correctly, I'm not sure. Um, and then it combined another drug called a MEK inhibitor, and then it also combined an EGFR inhibitor. And so these three drugs together worked very well for patients with BRAF mutated uh, cancer. Um, recently, they found out that you don't actually need the MEK inhibitor, uh, the middle drug, because the drug encorafenib actually inhibits MEK. Uh, four. In fact, they found that the BRAF inhibitor encorafenib has a bunch of different targets than they originally thought it did, um, including uh, CRAF. It uh, inhibits mutated forms of BRAF and wild type forms of BRAF uh, that are overexpressed. It inhibits uh, ARAF, uh, CCND1. Uh, it even inhibits uh, target in the MAP kinase. So the new beacon protocol is now just a doublet. It's just the encorafenib plus cetuximab, and it works just as well as a triplet form. Um, more importantly, this, uh, this beacon protocol has really developed uh, further. And now there's a multitude of different combinations of these sort of drugs based on the triplet protocol of the beacon trial and for, for BRAF mutated patients. Uh, a recent one was combining irinotecan, cetuximab, and a different uh, BRAF inhibitor called vemurafenib. And there's another uh, BRAF inhibitor called debrafenib. Um, so there's, there's a multitude of different um, BRAF inhibitors, and they're using them with all different sorts of combinations. And the whole point of this is the Beacon trial showed that by combining multiple targeted therapies, you're able to override the inhibitions and provide uh, much better prognosis to patients with poor prognostic um, features in the colon cancer. Uh, in fact, even the TRIBE protocol um, uh, for BRAF mutated, uh, they found with the TRIBE protocol um, that I believe the survival rate as a second or as a first line was 19 months compared to uh, Fulfuri plus Bevacizumab that was only 10 months. So almost a doubling of the survive, the average survival time by using a different combination of protocol. Okay, next slide. Oh, there we are. Sorry, I didn't see it. <laughs> so um, there's also, so Michelle, did we skip a slide here? Nope. Okay, sorry. My mistake. Sorry, I had myself oh. muted because my dog is snoring. Uh, oh. But um, no, I, perhaps there should be something in there, but this is, this is oh, it. That's great. Yeah, I just wanted to add on to that. And, and I could talk about the triplet protocols for hours, but um, let's just stop with that. Thank you for watching Seatome TV. Subscribe below and stay informed.